Take your time and never rush your serve. You have 10 seconds, so compose yourself and make the most of this valuable opportunity. Think about what would be the most effective serve, considering your opponent's style and weaknesses. Ensure to practice a variety of serves and training, in preparation for all types and styles of player, and have dependable and consistent options for your second serve. Keep your opponent guessing by mixing up the pace, height and direction of your serves. Whilst for the most part there is no need to change a winning formula too much, sometimes players can work out an effective return of serve if they are faced with a particular serve very often. So by firing in the odd change of serve, you put slight doubt in your opponent's mind and can prevent them from moving in and anticipating your serve. Practicing a selection of serves from the same spot and with the same bounce will allow you to disguise your serves better and greatly enhance your serve and game. Mixing up the pace, height and direction of your serve will keep your opponent from moving in and anticipating your serve. Likewise, having the same ball bounce so you can serve to either side is important in the sense that it means your opponent cannot read your serve until the very last moment. First and foremost, your second serve needs to be dependable. Serving a double fault is a real needless error and provides your opponent with a boost. But your second serve must not be rushed. It should still be well thought out and executed properly. You can still put your opponent in a difficult return position with a less risky serve than your first serve. Make sure to look at your opponent and see what they are doing, or if they are trying to sneak up and take your second serve early. <laughs> 